Hello guys, um, I just wanted to respond to the video that I did a couple months ago uh, telling my testimony. Um, I'm planning on doing more videos expounding on some other things that happened uh, while I was in a coma and, you know, other details about spiritual warfare and all of that. Um, I've had a numerous comments and I am very appreciative of you guys watching and seeing and commenting on the video. I didn't I didn't think it was going to get that big of a response, but man, I'm glad it's helped so many people. I'm glad it's touched so many lives. Um I've got a lot more to share with you guys. Um I recently changed the name of the my page to a day in the life and the reason behind it is to basically share what it's like to be a christian uh, in today's society uh, struggles and everything that we go through <clears throat> uh, just the life you know it's not as bad as some people make it it's not uh this strict, you know, deal where you can't have fun or nothing like that. It's, it's an enjoyable life. It's a fulfilling life because you're living up to the standards of what God wants you to live. And it feels good. Um, like I said, though, I ain't going to get into too much. Uh, I'm going to share one thing with you guys, though. And uh, it's just uh, one example of how God has revealed himself to me. Uh, there's a scripture in the Bible, uh, Acts 2.17, and I'm going to read it before I tell you what happened. Uh, so the Bible says in Acts 2.17, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Okay. I consider myself to be a young man and uh, give you this testimony of what happened to me one day. Um, I believe it was a year or two ago. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I was at work, it was around maybe 10 a.m. And uh, like I said on my video, I'm in the architectural field. So I'm working on my computer drafting. And all of a sudden, like all of that disappeared. And I was phased out into this, uh, I saw this vision. And the vision was a bridge burning. And uh, it was like inflamed, and I, I I knew it was like it was like cars passing and everything like that. But this bridge was engulfed in flames. So I it, I flashed back, and it's like I'm at my desk again. So I was like, wow, it felt so real. So I kept working, and around one o'clock that day. Um, I had a little news flash pop up on my computer, I believe, on my phone. And it talked about, it was saying, like, you can, you guys can look this story up. There, the I-85 bridge where I live was completely in flames to the point where the bridge collapsed. <laughs> And it blew my mind. I was like, God showed me this before it even happened. And that blew, it blew my mind. So that's one of the things, you know, it's God is so real. And I want to continue to promote, you know, that fact. A lot of people are trying to just 
destroy Christianity. You know, destroy the faith, destroy people from believing. They think you're crazy. They think, oh, you're hallucinating. Nah. No. You can't. You won't deceive me. So, and we won't be deceived. But look that story up. And uh, I wish I would have wrote it down. I wish I would have wrote the time down. Because you guys would have seen the vision that I had came before it actually happened. That was amazing to me. And I mean, God has done so many things that's blew my mind. And if he's done anything like that uh, with you guys, share it in the comments, you know, you know, encourage me with some of this stuff, which I know he works through a lot of people. So I know you guys have something to write for me, but uh, got more videos coming. Uh, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys, thank you, man. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for sharing the testimony with me. Thank you for sharing it with other people. Um, it's getting a lot of views, more than what I thought. So, like I said, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Uh, and stay tuned. Got a lot more to talk about. I, I want to do some Bible studies. Wish we can do some online Bible studies and, you know, online testimonies and and just have some fellowship you know this channel you know i'm gonna try to expand it a little bit um and go into some day-to-day -day stuff that i that i'm doing and some things that i want to get to doing and some work that i want to do um uh, for people for other people and you know just to strengthen myself so you guys stay tuned and peace out